Singapore has a history of excellence in water sports and our national swimmers have been doing our nation proud for as long as I can remember. We admire their gracefulness on television, but do we know anything more about swimming than that? I meet up with triathlete extraordinaire and top recreational swimming coach Sumiko Tan to find out more. Hi Sumiko. Hey, hi Mark. Are you ready for a swimming lesson? I sure am. Hi, right, let's go. Let's go. Okay. Swimming started pretty long ago. A group of European guys, they came to Singapore and they wanted to set up a swimming club because they purely love swimming. And um, through getting some support from some sponsors and some companies, they managed to set up this first swimming club called the Singapore Swimming Club. Then on, um, Singapore swimming actually flourished from there. I guess it's getting really popular. When I coach in uh, swimming pools outside, I do see a lot of children learning swimming. Swimming pools are always filled with a lot of children. On top of recreation swimming, there's also competitive swimming, where I think primary schools and secondary schools, as well as um, even tertiary levels, they have their own inter-school swimming competitions, which I think that's pretty popular in Singapore though. There are many, many courses that's available in Singapore, even infant courses, um, adult courses. But I guess the best age to learn for me it's probably around four to five years old because they can really listen to instructions well and they can make sense out of your instructions. Swimming itself is actually an individual sport. I guess being able to be successful, you have to go a lot to a commitment to the sport. Uh, it depends a lot on how much time and how much effort you want to put into the sport. All right, Mark, before we hit the water, okay. let's go through some hand techniques for the swimming first. Sure. We start with the hands starting in front, fingers closed. When we pull the hands, yeah. Go in, like towards your chest, and then pull towards the back and straighten it. Okay. Okay. Second step is to lift the elbows up to the sky. Go closer, a little bit closer, and then pull it forward. Yeah, nice one. Breaststroke legs. Okay. For the breaststroke, the hand starts in front. Okay. Close your fingers. Now we start the pull here. We do not exit this line over here. Okay. So it's pull and in. Down. Okay. And it's not to the tummy and down. We always okay. make sure we go to our chest. Okay. So up and squeeze into your chest and down. We start to pull. We start to breathe. Okay. So it's up and down. Right. Your hands do not go too close to your oh, tummy. Yeah. Okay. Go towards your chest. Bring it up and down. Okay, Mark, let's yeah. move on to the butterfly. Okay. I guess it's quite a difficult stroke. Yes. Butterfly, hands in front. Okay, close your fingers. Now I want you to pull towards your thigh and brush your hands towards your thigh. And move it to the back. Lift it up and down. Let's try it. 